Hope to go live here in a second. Hi. All right, we're live. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Hi, everybody. Thanks for uh, being with us on the Hispanic Food Network. I'm Mike Gonzalez alongside Chef Nina Arena. And we are going to make these cod fish tacos. First of all, Nina, always love being with you. How are you doing this Sunday? Thank you for having me, Mike. I appreciate it. I love showing you my little simple recipe, but today I'm going to be sharing with you some cod fish tacos. Yeah, I, I can't wait because uh, this is a delicious one. And, and you said you picked up some fresh fish and you're like, I had to get it. So uh, the, the first thing, let, let's talk about the ingredients in a fish taco because, you know, fish tacos are one of those recipes, you know, so many people want to know about. And it's sort of like there's a mystery with fish tacos, but... Then there's also like, okay, it's easier than a lot. It's easier than most people think, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Fish tacos, you can make it in so many different ways with so many different types of fish. I am going to do something really different. Fish tacos, you can make I it. am going to go ahead and put season the fish, and I'm going to use my air fryer today. I love, this is one of the best inventions ever because it makes the, the food crisp. And nice and moist on the inside. So while this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and um and grab the, the mango salsa and I'm gonna grab a nice uh, coleslaw mango salsa. That's what I'm gonna do for you guys today, as well as the guacamole, which I didn't mention, but I decided to go with it. I have to have to throw guacamole in. Also, the beautiful thing about fish tacos is that you can add. I love adding toppings. I love toppings. So I have all my toppings here already prepped for you guys. And I'll show you that as I go along the way, as I use them. Okay, so I have peppers, onions, scallions. I love scallion. I love green onion because it gives it such a juicy flavor. There's so many types of onions. Shallots gives you less digestive. Um, digestive. And I have, hi, I'm going to show you something. We use Mrs. Dash. I'm going to use Mrs. Dash. Oh. See, I love, I love Mrs. Dash. That's kind of my, that's my secret sauce. And, and the it, thing about Mrs. Dash, it doesn't have all that salt content. So exactly, really exactly. And that's, that's one thing that I, I've been definitely watching is my salt intake. So this is why a lot of people know about this. Adobo, light, has the sodium of the regular adobo. So if you can get your hands on this coffee right here, this is definitely the way to go if you're watching your salt intake. Half, literally, half the sodium of the regular adobo has, this has 250 milligrams, which is still a lot, but right. regular adobo is like 500, I think 575 or something like that. That's a lot. So, and if I can't find it, I'll use less adobo when I'm seasoning my, my meats. So this is the, uh, this one right here, is also the complete seasoning that I love. I love complete seasoning because it has no sodium and it has the cilantro, it has onion powder, garlic powder, and it has been um, pretty much my go-to. I learned about this, I would say about 10 years ago and it just tastes so good. So I'm gonna add some of this to the fish, a little light adobo. Of course, the Mrs. Dash, as I showed you, and we have onion powder, excuse me. Yeah, onion powder. And we have garlic powder. Uh, I'm running low. I have one in there, but <laughs> this is enough for the, for the fish powder. That's like my garlic powder. <laughs> I always have to get more garlic powder because I- I have like, like three of them. <laughs> I forget, <laughs> I'm like, when I go to the supermarket, I'm like, I don't have any. I grab it and then I thought, oh, I had already, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, and a oh, cumin. How can I forget cumin? Cumin is definitely something that you add. These are my flavors. These are what I like to add my seasonings. It depends on what I'm cooking. If it's um, chicken or fish. Today, of course, we're going to stick with codfish. Codfish is for you, just in case you guys didn't know, um, codfish is the fish that you use for bacalao. So that is probably the price of the best. I'm going to pick it up. Actually, I'm going to put on some gloves, okay? 
like while I season it so you guys can see. So I'm gonna start seasoning the meat and I'm gonna add the meat to the air fryer. So how's that? Sounds good. Okay. So I hope everyone is having a, a fun day Sunday. You're gonna have fun day with me. <laughs> fun day Sunday. <laughs> okay, guys. So any questions? Go ahead and ask, shoot away. Yeah, and I'll uh like uh, Nina said, I I'm monitoring um, any questions that you may have for Nina. And uh, Nina, if, if uh, you want to follow her, she has her group, the WIPA, uh, WEPA Puerto Rican and more. Uh, so they've got all sorts of recipes in there. You know, as, you as you're doing that, before you keep going, Nina, tell us about your group and, you know, how people can join and, and a little bit about what you have in there. Because you have Puerto Rican recipes, but I mean, you, you could cook anything. So you have a lot of other things in there too, right? Absolutely. I don't, I'm not biased when it comes to um, sharing um, recipes. Um, all, all recipes are welcome. And I, like, that's why I say and more. It's about Puerto Rican foods and more. Um, so that's definitely something that I welcome at all. At all. You know, we, I'm growing the group. I, last time, I think it was been about a year now. I'm up to almost close to 400. Uh, and so every day is growing. And, sure. and um, so I'm very excited about that. And I love sharing the recipes and my pictures and of my food. And this week I've been on a mission, just posting all kinds of. Yeah. I did like few recipes this week, and I posted those and and, and previous pictures that I had forgotten to post. So I kind of like started posting them, so everyone can see the difference. Um, how you make all kinds of different stuff. Yeah. Like, You're on. You've been on fire. Like, your food has looked so good. Uh, all, all the different dishes you can make, I've been liking them, but uh, definitely go to her page, guys, and, and follow her because she has some awesome recipes. I appreciate that. And now this is the codfish. So, like, if you're trying to say something, this is like beautiful two, two pieces. That's all I'm going to need. So I'm going to start with, um, let's start with the adobo. It's, I'm an ayer. I'm an eyeball. I eyeball. <laughs> You can measure. No, I can I say, huh? That's how I am too. I love the eyeball thing. Oh my eyeball! I mean, you see, this is. Uh, I didn't even know that that was bent like that, <laughs> like this. Can you see? So I didn't know it was bent. My honey's back here, so let me go. Go ahead, and um, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Right. This fish is gonna be so good. So we want to make it flaky. I'm going to put it in the air fryer. We're going to make it a little flaky. And then I'm going to break it up like a little fork. Kind of like not too much, you know, like pieces. And then we're going to put them on top of the net. And I got to get the tortillas over there, actually. <laughs> That's the yeah. one thing I did forget to put. I have. thought it was red. I thought it was red. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the complete seasoning. I'm going to show you when they're done. Before I put them in the air fryer, how beautiful they are. Air prepped, okay. There's so much flavor. Remember, these, these seasonings that I'm using have no sodium. This one, the Mrs. Dash, is the table blend. Do you use this, Mike? Yeah, occasionally. I, I, I haven't used that particular uh, brand of, of Mrs. Dash. I usually get oh, the yeah. garlic and herb, but that, that's one I'm going to have to explore. Peppery. Do you like pepper? Oh, I love pepper. So I, I love oh, uh, yeah. salt well, and pepper. Blend. It's called table blend. It's a seasoning blend. It's full flavor. The dust. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to put the, put my cumin right in front of me. Right here. All these flavors. Everybody's like, oh my God, all those flavors. But you know what? These flavors is like, you're going to not. Gonna love this, okay? And then onion powder, of course, and garlic powder, okay? And I'm gonna have a little trick, a little, a little extra something, something that you're gonna love, oregano. And although the complete seasoning already has it, I like to add a little extra. Oregano is very good flavor. Now the onion powder, I'm mean, excuse me, the garlic powder. And 
now. That's about it, okay? For the season. Except, oh, some chili flakes. This is optional. If you like spicy, I like spicy. Not right. too spicy. This is an optional flavor, okay? I take a little bit of, just a little. The chili flakes is, you know. Gives it a nice little kick. I, I like yeah, that. Yeah, it gives it a kick. Yeah. Gives it a kick. It's nothing too much. I don't add a lot because Sean does not like too spicy. He's learned to eat more spicy with me. Listen, I said to him, You are a spicy little Puerto Rican here. You got to eat some spice there, you know? <laughs> That's for sure. He's like, that's too spicy. I'm like, just taste it. Adjust to it. <laughs> He's adjusted the last over four years. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of a medium heat guy. You know, if, if it starts burning my lips, then I'm not, I'm not enjoying it as much. Okay, you got to get a spoon. I have my spoon right here. Now, I'm going to show you this. This right here is a mojito that I make. You see that? That's oh, yeah. olive oil, vinegar, and garlic. And I put parsley in there as well. Okay? Oh, I don't put no, no salt in it or anything because vinegar is salty enough. So we have to, you know, I'm going to add to this the fish. One teaspoon, make it three. Okay. So I added three of those teaspoons. I, you, this is my, my own. I put this on the stone as it made yesterday and all that stuff, okay? So, voila, now we're gonna blend that in. My bracelets, sorry. Can't help it, love jewelry. <laughs> so, we're gonna do this, okay? Pat them, make sure all those flavors are in there. Oh, and a little bit more olive oil. I have a measure, just that's like, that's like a teaspoon. Right. So I could give it that air fry look, you know? Yeah. So it could kind of like fry it in the air fryer, you know, it gives it that crunch on the outside and. Right. Let, and, you know, talk about the air fryer a little bit because um, I love air fryers because they're so convenient. And, you know, wh where, where did you get yours? And, you know, kind of give us a little synopsis because some people will, I've met a lot of people that have no idea what an air fryer is. Listen, the best investment, the best invention <laughs> yeah. mankind has ever made. The most phenomenal thing ever. I've made from empanadas. I've made from everything. Okay, now mine is, um, uh, I bought it at uh, Amazon and I got it, it like two years ago. Wow. Yeah, it's like two years. It's been my best friend, especially when you come home from work and you're tired and you just like throw something in there. Right. I love dumplings. I've got anything and everything just in there. It, it saves you time from dirty dishes and dirty in the stove. You just throw anything in there, you know, a steak, a potatoes. You put them in there, a steak and potato, you want to do it. One, two, three, season it real quick, throw it in there. Beautiful, beautiful flavor. Not only is it does it come out so you're gonna I'm gonna show you. You're gonna see how beautiful that is. Okay. Every every air fryer is different. This one I swear by and, I, and I'm drawing a blank right now as to the name of it because I've used it so much. <laughs> right. <laughs> You've worn it out, but it's it is a game changer for a lot of people. I mean it's life changing because you don't have to turn on the oven, you know, you don't have to throw something on the stove. I mean, you put it in there. We we made exactly. uh, a uh, the other day with them and it, it was so easy. And uh, you know, yeah. the flavor is delicious. So I, I would I would tell everybody to invest in an air fryer if you get the opportunity. It's a it's not too late. Maybe a Christmas gift if you can get it, it in. It really is. It really. This one. I, uh, why am I drawing a a, a a brain fart? I'm drawing a brain fart right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. But I just wanted people to know about the, the air fryer. Yeah, it's an it, air fryer from, and I think I like I, I got it in such a great deal, and now they're going for like two hundred, and and I got I paid like seventy bucks for it, and I think I seen it for sixty nine ninety nine, and I know that they have the midget wow. fryer, 
that my friend Eric, I he asked me about it and I gave him that advice and he went and he gave in and he said it's the best investment he's done. And a few yeah. people have bought it. I was uh, promoting it for so long on my on my Facebook and people were like, where are you getting you made me want to get an air fryer? <laughs> and so there were a lot of people that uh-huh. didn't take in and got it. So because I was posting like different recipes, oh I gotta get this thing, but I get to in the air fryer. So it is definitely something that we want to get, especially if you have kids and and you're you're running home late and you just want something quick. Yeah, it's an it's definitely an awesome investment. All right, you're making my mouth water there with uh, how you're big boss. Uh, uh, the fish. <laughs> it came to me, big boss. Oh, the big boss. The big boss. Okay. <laughs> it's actually the original one. The original okay. one that I think when they first started coming out. This is the original. Big boss. The big boss. All right, I, I like that. So find that on Amazon, big boss. Uh, but get an air fryer. Um, you know, that fish is looking good, how, how you're putting all those spices on there. And oh, man, I'm hungry for some fish tacos. Um, <laughs> before, before we go any further, you, you, you pick cod. And there's, I mean, there's different types of fish you can use for fish tacos. Do you prefer the cod fish? I, I mean, compared to some others and why? I, I prefer, I, I love cod fish. It has that nice, um, it's not too flaky, but it's kind of meaty. Right. It has that nice, like, tender, uh, soft, not too minced. I don't like minced meat. I don't use tilapia. I stopped using tilapia once I found out what it entails. So I don't know if anybody knows. <laughs> if you like tilapia, I'm going to ruin it for you. <laughs> yeah, well, let us know about tilapia, because a lot of people use tilapia in their fish tacos. Yeah, tilapia is not a good fish. First of all, it's not a fish. It's raised in a barn. And it's like it's based, it's given like all kinds of chemicals. It has like um, a, a horrible, horrible chemicals. And I learned it. And you get it so cheap, a little warmer, you get a, a, a 10 pound bag for like less than $10. And, right. Yeah. And, That's a red flag right there. Yeah. You ruined the tilapia for us all. <laughs> 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 get confident, everybody. You learned what it, <laughs> it's like farm raised that it gives it, it just gives it like they give it chemicals, all these different chemicals, and it's like, you know, right. it's so shit. Well, you, you, sold us, you sold us on codfish, so. Codfish. It's a little more pricier, but it's definitely good. Now, I love a red snapper, but I wouldn't do that on tacos. That's something that I, you know, that's just my preference. I would eat that as a, 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 a boil. Nice seasoned boiled stuff with like maybe crab meat or something like that. That's, that's a, a recipe that I I've made it's very expensive, but that's a that's a nice treat that you give yourself on Valentine's Day or something like that. If you don't want to go out and you want to make your family a nice meal, that's something that you could do. Because Valentine's Day, especially now these days, or just a birthday or a holiday or something, and you don't feel like going out and you want to pick up two nice meals. That's another fish that I love, red snapper. And there's a, those, those are the fishes that I can say. I like my fish broiled. I don't like my fish steamed. Don't like steamed fish. <laughs> so yeah. I are broiled. How's that? that? That sounds good. Let me say hi to a few people that have joined us. We've got a pretty good group hey, in here. Awesome. We, got, we got nine, nine uh, Jessica, Phil, uh, I think Maika, Ugarte. I think that's how you say it. Jessica, hi, Phil. Uh, thanks for being with us, Lisa. Ron is watching. Hey, Ron, what's up, buddy? Uh, Phil, uh, Salem is back with us. Thanks for being with us, Sierra. Uh, she says she loves codfish, so that's so that's good to know. All right. All right. Well, so what's our next step, Nina? Well, right now, I'm closing up the seasonings and cleaning them up. I'm putting them away because I like to go cleaning as I you know. I don't like messes. So, and I have such a tiny kitchen, I'm only going to keep the, the, the stuff that I'm going to use for the guacamole, which is, and keep that out there, and let's see. Now, I am going to put the fish inside the air fryer. So, I'm going to open it up right here. We're going to grab, see how, I'm going to put them in there. 
going to put these bad boys in here. Okay. And don't worry about having to flip them over. Okay. Some people say, oh, do you need to flip them over? No, you don't. Okay. Now, this little sauce, I'm going to put it on top just a little bit to give it, you know, you don't want to get rid of that. You want to make sure that they're laid out really good. Now, this is going to go in the air fryer at, I'm putting it at 350 for 15 minutes, okay? And it should be done by then. You don't want to overcook fish because it gets dry. Right, yeah. You know, fish cooks so fast. Any, you know, any seafood does. I think, every, I think everyone knows that. Make sure you put them in five minutes. I think shrimp is even. Okay, so that's already set up. Now I'm going to put this. This is, let's go 15 minutes at 350. I think I should be okay with that. Now. We're gonna start while this fish is cooking. I am going to prep the coleslaw. But I have a trick for that one. This right here. Oh yeah. Okay. This right here is they have all kinds of different um flavors. This is the Asian one. I love this one because this fish and it just goes so well together. So I know I, I can go ahead and get two of purple cabbage, carrots, and slice them up and cut them up. No, convenient. Convenience, okay? So oh, yeah. I'm going to, yeah, okay? So if you see this, this comes with the little packages already mixed in. You can eat this just like that as well. But I'm going to add all kinds of little beautiful things in there, like even some spinach and some lettuce and stuff like that. And chop them up and um, I'm going to put some apples. I have a half, half an apple, mango, jalapeno, just a little. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, red peppers, green peppers, and yellow peppers. They're all diced. Everything is diced really nicely. I'm going to go showing you that. Okay. So now, let's put this here. I'm going to wash this bowl because I'm going to use we do have a question, uh, Nina, from uh, Sierra. She asked, do you wash the salt off the cod or soak it before you prepare it this way? This, this is not that, this, this cod fish is fresh from the, um, from the wild. This is not dried up and as, you, as the bacalao, regular bacalao that you normally would get that is already dried up that they, that they pour salt over it. No, this one, this is not that one. This is fresh caught off the wild. Fresh, it came from the sea. <laughs> So, but normally, yes, what you're talking about is this one. I'm gonna show you, this is, this is Polak though, okay? Uh, See, this is, um, this is, this isn't wasn't in the bag. <laughs> this one, like okay. I said, okay? So you, you can make, I make this like a bacalao salad too. So this is the bacalao I use, but it's called Polak, it tastes the same. Not much of a okay. difference, okay? But this yeah. one, yes, I would soak four times before making it because you want to get rid of all that salt. All right, thanks for that answer. Okay, so. I've got a question for you, Nina. Um, you know, since we are using an air fryer, if someone um, doesn't have one and they, and they want to cook the fish in the oven, what would what would be the comparative time and temperature as compared to air Same fryer? thing. Same thing. 15, 15 minutes. As I, I'm taking it with, uh, with the codfish at this point. I'm, I may need a few more minutes with the air fryer. Okay. But in the oven, yeah, you want to do that 350. Remember, codfish cooks really fast. You want to definitely do that at now I'm taking remove the gloves and toss these. Just didn't want the smell of fish in my hands. <laughs> you know, so okay. So I'm gonna open this. Okay. See, so it comes with this little sauce, noodles, and all that. Okay. But my concern is the cabbage. The cab I'll tell you what it comes with. Okay. It has 
cabbage, green cabbage, carrot, celery, wonton shrimp, rice, almonds, green onions, and cilantro. So the nation sell sesame dressing. I'm not gonna add the sesame dressing because that I don't I've never had it, but like that's what I really want is cabbage right here. Okay. And so on this end, I want to add a little more punch. So I'm gonna add a little spinach, a little root, a little. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna dice that up. So dice this up. And although it already has the, the cilantro in it, it still needs more. <laughs> so oh. the, that, not much. We don't want to overwhelm it. And now this is all prepped and washed. You know what? I'm not even gonna dice this too much because I like my spinach, but a little, just some chops here and there. Hey okay, guys, it's really yummy. And I, I'm just, I'm trying to prove that you can eat really, really rich, but really healthy at the same time. Right. And that's something that for me, I can go ahead and get down Puerto Rican food, like yes, with the butter. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but, uh, you know, okay, so that right there, let me show you guys. Okay, so as I go, I'm gonna get my tongs and mix that up. Oh, okay. These tongs are amazing. I bought these tongs in Florida. At a, oh, wow. at, yeah, in Florida. I was at the supermarket. I had gone to Florida over the for not for not for pleasure, but it was a and I don't want to talk, you know, you know, negative, negative thing. But okay, so you see the mix. Okay, so that's that mix that we're gonna put with that well. Now, this right here is the red. Um, excuse me, the yellow peppers. They're nice and diced already. Yeah, looks good. This is, I would say, a whole bit of, of, a, of a pepper, maybe a quarter of it. You know how it has four? Well, if it's the female, it has four slices, four sides. If it's the male, it has three, slices, three sides. Just in case you guys didn't know that. Did you guys know that? You know, I didn't know that, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. In fact, yeah, look, I, I will show you, I'll give you a little, uh, See, we, we always learn something new with you, uh, Nina, which is great. Just when you thought you knew everything and it's, well. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Oh, I used them all. Anyway, I was gonna show you a pepper that, okay. So look at, when you buy the pepper next time, you're gonna see four, right? So the four, that's the female and it has more of the pepper stuff inside. Right. More of the, all the little pepper. You want the male that has less of it. So it has only three. So the female dominates, yay, no. <laughs> even in the food. New. Even in the vegetable world. <laughs> huh? I said even in the vegetable world. Though, even in know. the vegetable. <laughs> okay, so now is the red pepper. That's diced. I could have sat here and diced all this for you guys. I said, I'm not going to do that to them. I'm going <laughs> to. My favorite vegetable are peppers. I love peppers and onions. Okay. So that's that. So I'm going to add some green peppers. It, this is optional, guys. This is also the green. It's also chopped. And my little ramekins of, for my espressos. I said, let me utilize these things. You know, this was given by my friend Phil. Uh, well, let's say my uncle. He calls me his niece, so which I'm spending Christmas with, and he gave me. Okay, so now these little tomatoes right here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Normally, we use plum tomatoes. When I went to the supermarket yesterday, I forgot to buy the plum tomatoes, so I didn't get plum tomatoes, and I had cherry tomatoes, cherry sweet tomatoes, so. 
that's what I'm using for this recipe. I actually don't think that it tastes better because they're sweeter. Yeah. And so I think that so little, I, I cut them up in like, see? And right. I prefer those kind of tomatoes because I, I feel like they're sweeter and juicier, you know? Now for green onion. Onion. I'm not going to add all of this, but I'm going to have some of that for the tacos later or not. Okay. Apples. This is a, 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 I would say, a half an apple. And it's this apple, if you guys know what the brand of apple it is, it's really sweet. So good. I love this apple. Yeah, that looks like uh, so we're gonna add apple, okay? Now for the yummy part. Cilantro. No, that's not cilantro. <laughs> that's parsley. <laughs> cilantro. Okay, it's already chopped, like I said. I was trying to make things, you know. So, listen, everything is optional here for you guys. This is my flavor, this is what I love. I love flavor, I love taste, I love to, I love the crunches and I think tacos and, and fish tacos can just pretty much just go into any element you want. You can add any kind of toppings to it. You can add whatever you want, okay? So that's just for me. I'm gonna add a little more cilantro. A little more. <laughs> oh, I'm, with you. I'm with you, you know, not, when it comes to cooking, you gotta just do it the way you like it. I mean, there there's always a, uh, a road that you follow, but you can still veer off onto your own path, you know? Right. Now, I'm going to skip on the jalapenos because of him. <laughs> if right. I put jalapenos in there, he's not going to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be my, you guys can, okay? You can add it to your recipe. I have to put it on my tacos because if I put that in there, he's not going to eat it. <laughs> Talk about your man, Sean. So. <laughs> <laughs> he won't eat it. So, that being said, I have Mexican cheese already. You can add that. That's optional. And I have cojito cheese. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yes, I, I do. Okay. Now, this is crema that I added in here with cilantro and lemon juice. And the reason I have it in here is because I'm gonna, it's gonna look really pretty when I, when I, you yeah. see, because I'm gonna plate for you. So I have to do that. Now, lemon. Oh, I got something. And if anybody has questions, uh, I'm monitoring the Facebook feed. So if you've got any questions for Nina as she's going along. Uh, feel free to ask, and, and I'll, I'll get that question to her. This is a lemon. That first, I'm going to add the zest. Lemon zest. I love lemony stuff. Um, citrus. Do you guys like the citrus stuff? Because this is something that's good. Yeah, I love citrusy stuff. Growing, growing up in Miami, you know, the... Cuban and oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah. a lot of citrusy stuff. Puerto Ricans will use some. Not, I don't think Puerto Ricans use as much citrusy stuff that I come across. But you know, um, naranjas and and uh, a lot of the Cuban mojo will kind of use that citrusy flavor that you could marinate meats in, uh, which I love. And Sierra says she loves citrus stuff, so that's good. And yeah. Miami, oh, apples, that's cool. So. Uh, Salem says your flavors are amazing. So you're getting some props here, Nina. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to take a lemon. As you can see, the lemon juice. And I'm squeezing it. I'm squeezing half a lemon. Um, I think that that should be enough because I'm also going to squeeze lime. Okay. Listen, guys, there's another trick. These little tricks I've learned throughout my life. And just I read a lot and all that. And I watch a lot of Food Network and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. But if you hold a, if don't, if you have a lemon and you, and you feel it that it's hard and it's dry, 
put it in the microwave for 10 minutes. I mean, excuse me, for 10, for 10 seconds, 15, the most. You don't want it to pop in there. And watch it get revived, relive. It'll revamp its juices and it'll get nice and warm and all those juices will come out. And that's exactly what I did with this lemon. Then when I touched them, I said, oh, they're hard. I put them in the microwave and you saw the juice that came out. That's a great tip, Nina. I, I want to share this with you, Nina. Jessica Ortiz Verona says, oh, that's, my, that's my friend. That's my beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, honey. Well, she she's in, she said something really nice. I want to share with the audience. She says, I have to be honest. I have um, I have an infant and it's been hard to get back into the kitchen because of her schedule. And she, had, she lost her desire to be in the kitchen. But watching you, Nina, it makes me want to jump back into the kitchen. Uh -huh. You can uh, you enjoy it. That's awesome. So thank you. What a great comment. Thank you, honey. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. Okay. I love you. And I hope that you are you have a happy, that you've been having a happy blessed Sunday. So I used a half a lime in there too. Okay. So this other half and these other two halves, I'm going to use them for later for something else. Okay. <laughs> need them into the, into now. This is optional, it's a mango, which I am gonna utilize right now. I'm gonna place this to the side right now. Look how pretty that's looking so far. Look at that. Oh, that, that looks Wow. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead, wash the mango. I wash all your fruits, vegetables. I am going, I bought this mango a few days ago and I bought another one yesterday because I wasn't sure if this one would be good still. Yeah. So, oh, mangoes are tricky. They're so yeah. tricky to cut. Yeah, they have kind of a strange skin texture. I, I grew up with mango Florida. My, my uncle Mickey had mango trees all in his garden, so we used to take tons of mangoes home. But uh, yeah, they. some people hate, hate mangoes, but you know, I grew to love them when I was a kid, you know? Sean will eat them because they're messy. <laughs> yeah, they, they get really messy. But I, I just love the flavor of a mango. I love the flavor of mango. He's going to eat it the way he'll eat it if I, if I cut it for him. Right, honey? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we love audience participation. <laughs> they'll eat it. You see, so, you know, I guess if you get them a little harder, you know. I don't want to cut the pit, and I really, so you see how I'm, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Just to, yeah. can, you, can you, you can watch me. Yeah, you can see. My glasses are crooked. <laughs> there we go, it was slicing nice without, you know, having the pit in the way. So I think this is good. I'm doing them into little cubes. My knife skills would be better. Well, they are. They're pretty good. They're not that good. They look, they look good from here. <laughs> this is the mango. The messy mango. But it tastes so good. So how do you know I want to add the mango? I was going to do a mango salsa, but I said, no, I'm going to do it all together. My son was like suggesting, he was like, lady, why don't you, my son calls me lady. <laughs> and reason, I'll tell you the story behind that. Remember, so my son is 30 years old. And when he, remember the cartoon, I think it was the Animaniacs. And so the, the little girl would call her mother lady, she go, lady, I love you, bye-bye. So he used to be like watching that, all the, he watched that cartoon growing up. So he was like, lady, I love you, bye-bye. So, he stayed uh, with so my son's and, and he's, he's still your baby at the thirty. He's still your baby. <laughs> you believe I have a thirty-year-old son? I know you don't look old enough to have a thirty-year-old. Come on. I appreciate that. I take a lot of vitamins. I'm gonna share my age. I was born in '68. I'm a Libra. It's over nine, nineteen sixty-eight. Um, wow. fifty-two years old. And crazy. You're not I'm look well, you do, you do, you do. Um, not to digress, but you do sell vitamins and all that sort of stuff. But I mean, so you really do take a lot of um skincare products, and plus the food you eat, you know, helps. So uh, 
reach out to Nina about some of her products too, you know, on her Facebook group. So, you know, it is kind of your side hustle too, but, you know, I want to give that to you know, people. The reason why you have a nice skin is because you do take a lot of those products. And I love fashion too, so I'm also a paparazzi consultant. So come and see this jury. It's lead and um, lead and uh, free. It's really fun, and come and see me on that one too. So mango. So good. I love colors on my, you know, the colors. Okay, so let me clean this up right here. You see? You see how the, it stopped? That was 15 minutes. Okay. I'm gonna check in and see if it's still done. If not, I'm gonna add a few more minutes to it, okay guys? Yeah, that's the air fryer, guys. We were talking about, you can uh, get it on Amazon. It's the big box air fryer. Um, <laughs> cost you know, 70 bucks. Uh, maybe a little bit too late to get it for Christmas, but maybe a good New Year's gift for uh, the foodie in your life. And it's a, it's a game changer, like Nina was saying. And I, I met a few people that have air fryers. Um, they're just uh, that people love them. I mean, once once you get cooking with them, you, you get hooked on it. I cook some empanadas myself with them, and it's super easy. You pop them in, you pop them out in ten minutes, and you're done. I have to get you know gotta clean this paper up. Well, you know, as you go, because you'll have a mess. You know? I know that's. I drive my wife crazy with that as I mess up the kitchen as I'm cooking. So I'm I'm, I'm learning to clean as I go. That's cooking one of one. My mom taught me that. Well, I'm gonna go see now. Look at that cocina, you know, like she got something. I'm I'm learning even at my age, and you know, I, I'm, and it does make your life easier when you when you clean up the kitchen as you go, because then if not, you end up with this giant mess. So uh, that's that, maybe that's the best advice of all day. Now, I am gonna check the, the tacos. I'm using that to tacos. Uh, the fish. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put the fork to it. If I see that it's done, I'll leave it alone while I prep the a quick guacamole for you guys, okay? And oh, you guys have to see this. So, I hope my phone don't fall in there. Imagine if my phone fell in there. <laughs> it would be a disaster. <laughs> we got it on video. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 That's funny. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys. Um, let me... I think it needs about another five minutes. What do you think? Okay. I think it does. Can you see? Oh yeah, it's looking good though. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'm gonna give it another five minutes. Just okay. another five. Because I don't like raw either. <laughs> you know? But five minutes, just that's it. Mm. I bet you that tastes good. Follow my recipe. I wish I was on the East Coast right now. I'm all the way on the West Coast, guys, but Nina's in uh, New Jersey. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I can take a trip out there. Please just stop All right. So I'm going to put in another five minutes in there, guys. Okay. So I haven't mixed in the flavors yet with this. So, hmm. Should I? Hold on. I don't want you to see my back door or my mess over there. <laughs> I have a very small kitchen. I'm John and I live in a you know one bedroom apartment until we buy a house and back south. So this is what we're doing. Making money. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking, should I add a little crunchiness to it? I'm thinking I am going to. Yeah. Right. I love yeah, yeah, I love crunchiness. But yeah. That always that great texture. Asian sauce is gonna be really, really good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add it. I've never done it, but I I think it's gonna taste delicious. So it has almonds. It has almonds and it's a long time. Yeah, absolutely. And let's give it this. Um, shake it up to see. It looks like it was just like. Oh, 
right. So the lemon and the Asian, I think it's gonna go really well. And I just thought of something. Because it is Asian, I have sesame seeds. So this is wasabi. This is when I do my, my sushi. I will send me sushi guys. I'll I'll get your I'll teach your class on there. If you guys want me to let me know. And then I got regular seeds. Which one should I put in there? The wasabi sesame or regular? If we get any votes online, I, I'm all about wasabi. I mean, I love wasabi. Me too. So yeah, I'm gonna add a few. Like I said, everything, as I mentioned before, everything is optional, guys. This is something that you, you can eat the salad alone without the fish. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add the rest of this occasion. And I'm gonna mix all those flavors in with the tongs. Okay. Yeah, that fish is getting nice and crisp here on the outside. And I think that's good. I'm going to show you. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Yeah. Now I'm going to mix it up. This salad alone is healthy. Yeah, that's got, that's got so many good flavors in there. Um, Will you put this on on your group pages for us, Nina? When uh, when we're finished, and then I'll then I'll throw it on. Uh, I'll share it on Hispanic Food Network's uh, Facebook pages and groups later. Sounds good. All right, awesome. And this video, guys, will stay on Hispanic Food Network's uh, Facebook page, and then we'll also put it on our YouTube page, and we'll also put it on our website. So so make sure you follow us on our social media platforms. Uh, our website is hispanicfoodnetwork.com. We've got Instagram, Pinterest, you name it, we're there. All the social, the only one I haven't gotten into is TikTok. Um, I don't know, I, I at this point in my life, I can't go there yet. Now, besides that I was going to make, that I used that with the Asian dressing, I was going to use, um, I use organic apple cider vinegar with olive oil. That's what loves with the lemon. Yeah. That's what I was going to use, but I don't think I should because I have already enough citrus in it and we yeah. don't want to see. Okay, so that would have been the right here. I love this. Um, it's good for weight loss too. And the digestive yeah. system. <laughs> so, yeah. so I'm, oh, the one thing I did forget. I forgot something. Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna add it. I was gonna add pepper, salt and pepper, but I don't. I'm gonna taste it, and I'll tell you if it does need it. If it needs it, I'll definitely add it. But I, I doubt that it's gonna need it. Okay. I don't, I don't think so. We're getting some great comments. Uh, Naomi says looks amazing. Jessica, yummy. Uh, somebody said they're drooling. Who was that? Uh, it doesn't need it. That's good. And then remember the fish already seasoned. So yeah, no, I'm I'm sure th those flavors are popping. People people are commenting on, on the Facebook feed saying, "Oh man, it looks great." Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. So you see so this beautiful salad. I'm gonna portion it on the side right here because I'm gonna walk over here. And I'm gonna I have the tortillas over there. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna give you options. Corn tortillas, cook them on a, a skillet real quick on the cast iron and I grill them up a little bit. Oh yeah. Now, flour, you can go with the flour, carb smart, yeah, yummy, like yeah. okay? So I do try to watch this and I'm really gonna love this. Okay, I ordered these on Facebook. Mr. Tortilla, I'm gonna plug them in. 
because I ordered these online and they are phenomenal. Except they're very tiny. Uh huh. You can make like tiny small tacos, but it's only one. Wow. One carb. And you said you got those on Facebook, so Mr. Facebook. Tortilla. Okay. It's called Mr. Tortilla. Yeah, I think of... yeah, Mr. Tortilla. I think it's four ninety nine with shipping and handling. It's like uh, I think I think I pay like eight bucks for them. A little pricey for tortillas, but you yeah. get a lot of them. Yeah, uh, I got the link for. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make one of each so that way you guys can. I'm gonna taste them. And you're gonna see. I mean, these are really really great. Such a great invention. Now the fish tacos. Ah, uh, they look so so yummy. Okay. Wipe down. Let me do the two house avocado, lemon and lime, cilantro, of course, green onion, jalapeno. Should I add the jalapeno and put some on the side for him and just <laughs> yeah, put it on the side? Add a little bit, you know, spice up his life. <laughs> I, I do. Like I said, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, right, honey, should I add jalapenos to the guacamole? <laughs> I'll pick them out. You'll pick them out from the guacamole? I don't think that'll be, be kind of hard to do. All right, so this is a little trick. We try to think everybody, you know, wants to, you. Oh, ah, beautiful. Wow, that's pretty. So you want to take the uh, divide in the middle. Okay. So that's that's a that's a you know those little tricks like this that make your life a lot easier. Yeah. Especially when again, let's that do avocado, that avocado <laughs> trick with the knife. That's a that's a game changer. What I. Okay. When I learned that, that was like, whoa. Okay. Great. Okay, so now you can squeeze them in like, like so. Little, I, lo I love metal bowls. I think it makes things easier. And like, I don't know, just, okay. yeah, I love metal bowls. That's just my thing. I'm going to take a spoon. Try to get the whole, the whole thing. Look, perfection. That came yeah. out for. Yeah, okay. that was great. Nothing. Okay, so little trick like that. We wanna put. Sorry. In the bottom, from the bottom, you bring the, the spoon up. Voila. Oh yeah, that's that's a great trick. Man. Again, you put the spoon in, you squeeze it a little. Oh, I forgot to tell you that. Oh. <laughs> it's a little bit blue. You know, at least it flew in the, in the sink. There you go again. That fish came out perfect. I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so we don't even have anything in there, so we're going to throw this out. I'm going to this in the garbage. So you might think, you know how Rachel Bay has a bowl throwing her garbage in it? <laughs> <I'm just thinking. laughs> hey, it works. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, so got that. Now, some of the half eleven in line that I have left. I'm gonna put that line. I like lemon and lime. That's just my way. So like so, I do this. Squeeze that first. Like so, like that. 
half a lime, I mean, excuse me, half a lemon, like so. You see how much juice came out of that lemon? That's the lemon that I actually, um, that was the heated up in the microwave trip trick. What, 10 seconds, 10, 15 10 seconds? seconds? Yeah. I don't know if your microwave watts. I read I read a joke about that. Like, you know, I don't I've never <laughs> used the watts of a microwave. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, because I mean different microwaves will heat at, at a different rate, but I mean if you stick to 10 seconds, you should be pretty safe. Right. Yeah. And that was Nina's uh, you know, if you get one of those hard hard lemons or citruses, uh, you can, uh, it'll bring all the juices out. Celery salt on guacamole. Oh, wow. Game changer. I've You're gonna seen. That. Yes, celery salt. I love celery flavor. Like so. Maybe, see? I would say that's like a one third, you know? I do add pepper. I get this paper and I, I it's a little black pressure and I open it up here and and I grind it in there. That's good enough. I did that three times. Okay. So where do I put my salt back? I have salt ready to like use. <laughs> I must have put it back in. Oh, and of course, we're gonna use. I always add cumin to my guacamole as well. Okay, so cumin to me on that. And a little salt. I had it ready. Don't know where it went. A ghost took it. They didn't want to move it. That happens, and then it's, if it was a dog, it would have fit you. It's probably right. right I had that. it in the little. <laughs> oh, here it goes. It's right here. <laughs> Okay, so I, 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 you know, I didn't I pack it up. I'm gonna use, I want to use my fingers for it. I don't like, you know. So this is kosher salt. This is kosher. It's coarse. It's coarse salt. So you don't want to yeah. use a lot of this. It's really salty, okay? Right. But I would say that much. Two little pinches. No more than that. I want to show the <laughs> But good luck. Okay. So since he doesn't want jalapeno, I'm going to add a little chili flakes. That's a little option. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's that's for the that's enough for the flavor. Okay. So I'm putting my stuff back here. Oh, garlic powder. Almost forgot the garlic powder. How can you forget the garlic powder in the in, the, in your? You can't forget that. You can't forget the garlic powder. Okay, guys. Now, I'm gonna mash those up first before I add anything. So I got this little spoon here. I gotta get a better one. So I'm gonna mash that up. Remember I told you last week when you do the, the, the faces and you like. Right. <laughs> you should see. When I was dicing everything earlier, I was like, I'm glad I'm doing this not on one live yeah, face, the faces that I made, that we made when. It, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's mashed up really pretty. I, some people like it really chunky, some people like it, I like it medium. How do you like it? You know, I love my, my guac chunky. I don't know what it is, but. I grew up with an avocado tree out, out in my house in Miami. And uh, man, we used to get the big, biggest uh, avocados you'd ever seen. I mean, these things were giant. And so we'd make guacamole, you know, just uh, eat it with a little salt on it or, or some seasoning. But I've always loved my, loved my, uh, my avocados, just chunky and, and, and the guacamole chunky, so yeah. So remember what I told you about the green onion? That was what I was going to use. Just a little palm, right there. And I brought them in. We don't want to add too much because I added a little cilantro and a little green onion right there. Okay? Now, like I said, I'm not going to do the, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to add that whole thing. That's what I really want to do. 
but <laughs> so I gotta get up some more. Okay, so I really, really, really want to. Okay, so I'm gonna, again. I'm gonna mix the flavors in. Okay, that's it. That's my guac. Guac is optional. Okay, guac is optional. Remember, guac is not, you know. That looks amazing. Thank you. So, and we're going to add a dollop of that on top of the beef taco. Now I'm going to taste it. Oh. Mm. That looks nice and creamy and delicious. And oh man, if I could. This is my happy dance. Some <laughs> oh, I actually did together a little drop to make it creamier. You just gave me the idea. A little drop of olive oil to kind of blend out. Oh, yeah, that. I love that. Yeah, I almost forgot. I'm glad I saw it. That's good. My avocado has natural oils. I'm going to tell you the trick about, I'm going to tell you another little thing about avocados. When you eat an avocado alone, no guac, just an avocado. It has a ton of source of vitamin D and it brings you, you know, it balances out your immune and your happy cells. Right. If you have that, there's a thing called SAD um, for people who get like SAD, yeah. a, you know, SAD is seasonal attention oh, disorder yeah we, yeah we deal with that a lot on the out here i'm in washington state so you know we uh, right now we have no sunshine so I, I i try to take my vitamin d and and we eat a lot of avocados I because i like it but plus uh, you know uh plus for the health benefits because there are a lot of health benefits from avocados they're, they're sort of that super food right right so the avocado um brings your sunshine to your life it, it balances out your happy something in the it balances out something chemical in your brain that makes you feel good and happy. So the vitamin you got another you know, auto, I've got a great excuse to eat even more avocados. <laughs> yeah, what? I'm sorry, I, I said I've got a great excuse to eat even more avocados, Nina. Thank you. There you go. I, I buy them all the time. Yesterday when I went to the supermarket, they had them ten for ten for ten dollars. They were a dollar piece. So I bought four of them, and I was like, "Wow, this is a good deal." But I'm not going to buy ten of them because, you know, they're going to go bad. <laughs> so I bought four. Right. So I have one. I love avocado sandwiches. I just eat avocado with a little olive oil and a little salt and a little olive oil boom, just like that. I'll, I'll stand right here with my cup of coffee. And I just want an avocado for breakfast, and I'll eat that. And that's it. That's yummy in itself. Okay, so now we are done with the toppings. I'm gonna to set this to the side. Now I had to prep. See how this lemon just got so soft. I didn't need to keep them. I'm still gonna keep them just in case you want to squeeze it a little, but I don't think with all these flavors, I don't think it's necessary to squeeze over. The fish tastes phenomenal, that's phenomenal, the guac, cool. And then we have the crema. So these are things like I said. Tacos are endless. You can add whatever you want to tacos. Tacos, you can, you can, I can even put these um, tortillas in the air fryer and let them get a little toasty in there as well. Okay. But I'm going to remove the fish and I'm going to flake it up for you guys to see. Okay. So, which one should I go with today? These traditional, these are the new ones for flour tortilla. Hard bread. So, but who wants to see what? <laughs> no, I, I I love flour tortillas, but we did have somebody that said uh, that they do like Mr. Taco, and they they uh, they also use those tortillas. Those are those. Uh, tell tell us about those tortillas that you got on Facebook. Is it is it Mr. Taco? Uh, no, Mr. Tortilla. Oh, Mr. Tortilla. Excuse me. Yeah, Mr. Tortilla. If you see, it has um, one carb. And they're really yummy and they taste so good. I, I did it with quesadilla and chicken in it. Like, actually, it was like more like a chicken fajita. And I, and I kind yeah. of toasted both the two of them together and I put chicken and red peppers and onions. And I, nice. yeah, I can show you that another time. That's really simple. And like chicken breast. Sue Lynn, Sue Lynn said, uh, 
watching so she uses Mr. Tortilla. So she says they're so yummy. So <laughs> we we've got some of again. Uh, Sue Lynn, who's watching with us, she says, I have Mr. Tortilla, and she says, so yummy. Good girl. That's my daughter-in-law. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, beautiful. She's such a beautiful person. I love her. She's the, my son and her together, been together seven years, and um, oh, yeah, they, they truly are a great pair. They are uh, meshed very well. Look, so Lynn, I don't know if you just came in, but voila, she's this is with us. She's been with she's us all. Right, I'm going to pull this on here. Now, I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to set this up first. Alexis, Alexa was, um, she was behaving. She was behaving. I'm gonna turn this around right here now, guys. This is my cast iron and this is my stove right here, okay? So I'm gonna just heat this up, cast iron. Best, best thing ever next to the um, air fryer, okay? I'm gonna share my little magnets with you here. You know, who watches the Game of Thrones? That's what I do, I drink and I know things. Who's a Game of Thrones fan here? <laughs> You know, I've never watched Game of Thrones. People keep telling me I have to watch it. You have to watch it. You have to get into it's 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 a little morbid in the beginning. You're like, oh my god, you know. But does that, that's what happened to me. I didn't watch it for years. I actually watched yeah. it when it came back season. I think it was season seven. And everybody, you never watched it. I started binge watching it last year. Got caught that, up with it, and it, I, I felt like. Is that I'm, on Netflix? Is that on Netflix? No, it's on HBO. Okay. Uh, yeah, HBO Demand. You can watch it. Okay. Okay. I'll have to. I'll have to check that out. Right. So, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two like this, one, and one, and then I'm also gonna do for Celine, a little Mr. Tia here. So you, Celine, you know about the little Mr. Tia. I made coffee earlier because I felt tired. And I didn't even drink it. <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> I said, oh, I'm putting my coffee. <laughs> I started getting ready and I said, oh, I forgot. I forgot, I forgot. Okay, give me one second, I'll be right back. Yeah, let me just grab the fish out of this. And... By Actually, the way, Tulin says she has to make fish tacos now because they look so good. So she may be coming over soon. Good. good. <laughs> She, she she was here for I uh, made Thanksgiving dinner on a Saturday for them, so they came over. I'm gonna turn this around again because I want you to know see what I'm doing here. This is more important than the tortillas. We know how to heat up some tortillas, and <laughs> this is the, probably the most simplest part. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take the. I want you. To, I'm gonna aim it this way. Yeah, that's perfect. I got my plate here. I'm gonna take the fish. I don't want to uh, since I cut it in half. Okay. You see how yummy that looks? Oh, that looks great. Ah, it's breaking, but it's okay because I'm gonna break it anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's okay. There we go. Now, with a fork, with a fork, I am going to, actually, I'm gonna take two forks. Let's grab two forks here and just break it up like this. And I'm gonna taste that right now, okay? Well, mm, yes. Yes. Oh, the tortillas. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's really good. So, as you know, guys, I use that fork in my mouth, so, but um, I would never do that if I was feeding anyone else, just to let you know, okay? <laughs> yeah, so I caught myself. <laughs> I would never do that. 
I would never, okay? I, I think we That's all do no, that. No. <laughs> That's a no-no, guys. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. And you can taste the peppers on, on the, the, the peppers. Oh, okay. that, that, that fish is so nice and flaky and with all yeah. the on top. Yeah. This is perfect. Okay, so you see the, you see the, the meat content? You see how it's like meaty and yeah. okay it's it's not it's a it's not like I mean you can get a deal on it i got this um it's a supermarket it's like a whole foods over here and okay. um i was gonna order it i said no let me go so i went to this they have a, a fish department it's uh all fresh you know all wild caught they have some farm, farm fish I don't buy ever fish from that's farm raised or like shrimp or I, I try to get everything wild caught. Yeah. You have to be careful these days with everything, pretty much with the mercury and all that. But I think the farm raised stuff is just even worse. Okay. Now you see how that's uh, all flaking up like that? Okay. Yeah, that's it's just breaking up easily. You know what? And I think it's Oh, with the tears. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Sean, <laughs> I'm not burning anything. That, I tell you, I could be cooking anything on that stove, and that fire alarm is hungry. And it's hungry, and it wants my food, and it's not going off every time. It never fails. It's like, I had a, uh, yeah, I live in a house like that, where everything. I lived in a house one time. Every time I turned on my stove, the, the, be like, uh, it, it, that, that's not an indication of how I cook. I swear it. Exactly, I, guys. I didn't burn them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't burn them. I really, really didn't burn them. Okay, now I'm going to do a little plate in here. I got to get new plates. <laughs> so now I'm going to grab these tongs over here. And as they do, I'm gonna put in here the coffee. See, they didn't burn, okay? Oh, <laughs> and I'm gonna put two together, okay? Okay. I guess I could probably just do one. You know how they always give you two? Yeah. Yeah, you can do one for. for That's good. Yeah, Sean doesn't like two. He he says this, he doesn't like that. He's like, no, I got two. You know, we're we're very um. Okay, so I'm going to start plating the fish. I'm not going to like overload it. I'm just going to, because these are so small, okay? Sean, I want Sean to taste it. I'm sure he loves cooking, though. <laughs> I, want it, I want the camera hitting him. <laughs> he has to come here. Okay, so that, all right. So guys, now I'm going to go ahead and... um. Put some of the, the coleslaw. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this on top. Can you see what I'm doing? Are you yeah. guys are, are you? Okay, let me. That's better. So let's add some tomato. Okay. And now we're going to put a dollar of the guacamole. I so I so wanna end the jalapenos. <laughs> yeah, so good. All right, now the cojito cheese. I'm not gonna add the Mexican cheese. You can. I to me, fish and cheese does not go together. Yeah, I, I, I'm, you're right on that. <laughs> it just doesn't. I don't know why I took it. I thought about it. It was like an afterthought. You yeah. know, like, you know, I was like, why am I taking on cheese? That doesn't even go together. Okay. Yeah, I'm all the Yeah, it just does it. Now, the crema is just to kind of like cool off all the, all the. Yeah, I love crema. All right. Oh, um, wow. That looks pretty. That's so nice. Okay, guys. 
You can make it like this. And so I'm going to take a bite of this. And I'll make Sean's afterwards. I think he's busy in there. Okay, so pull this up. Oh, yeah, that looks so good. How's it taste? Oh, I'm sure that's on point. Wow. Very good. Oh, yeah. And based on the comments, people are just, they're loving it. Salem uh, happens super. So uh, that looks so good. Um, will, you, really will you post? Will you post uh, these pictures on your um, on your Facebook group for us? Because I'm, I'm sure a lot of people. Would be absolutely. I'll, I'll share those as well. Yes. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I just need to take another bite here. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica says, uh, "You don't need to save me, huh? <laughs> Come over." <laughs> So that looks so good. Um, be before we uh, break up our, our taco party here, um, tell, the, tell the fans out there one more time where they can find you, your Facebook groups, because I know you're a part of a few of them. Yes, I am. So my group is called Huepa Puerto Rican Foods and More. Please request it. There's three questions that you need to ask, answer. Please answer them. <laughs> if you're a cook. <laughs> or you wanna learn how to cook, or you're both, um, to be nice to each other, um, respect other people's recipes and things like that. You know, things that, you know, human decency. Yeah, <laughs> kindness, Sometimes kindness. We need kindness out in this, in this universe today, you know? So just those, those, those questions like that, you know, just post, make sure that you're gonna post and you're not gonna be spamming and, you know, things like that, you know, like, and no political stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, <that's> <laughs> and um, you also what is it what's your other one that you're an administrator on i am um it's, it's uh fun puerto rican foods and more mm -hmm. okay so that i um lisette is the um administrator she asked me if i wanted to be an administrator and i did and it, that group is growing so fast i want my yeah, group to grow as fast as right. that group yeah it started i think i joined when it was like i joined like nine months ago and it started like maybe i think it was like five thousand now it's like over thirty thousand wow last so week last week was thirty thousand this week if you look at it it's at thirty three thousand so in a week three thousand members wow that's great so um, yeah. so I yeah follow uh, nina on both of those but uh, you know she's growing her her group platform well yeah. You know, it was such a great event today. You did an amazing job. Thank um, you. I love doing this. Let me, can I say yeah. something, please? Yeah, um, and also, I'm a paparazzi consultant, and I would love for you to come and see my lives as well, probably tomorrow. And then um, I also do, like, the skincare and the, and, uh, the collagen and the weight loss stuff and everything. And, you know, I guess you can call me an influence. Is that what you kind of say? <laughs> and I also oh, have cool. a YouTube channel, Nina's Cocina at YouTube. Yeah, yeah. follow her uh, on all those platforms. And, you know, we're promoting Nina's, uh, all her sites too. So this video will stay on Hispanic Food Network's uh, Facebook page. So you can access it anytime. Um, we, get, we love working with you, Nina. And uh, I love another working with you. Uh, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see you soon um, before the new year again. And then uh, she's definitely going to be on our platform as long as she wants to cook with us. Uh, she is always welcome. So uh, we love working with you, Nina. Another awesome recipe. And she's going to post this on her pages to make sure that you follow her group. Nina, awesome All right. time. All right. We'll, we'll have a great Christmas if I don't talk to you before then. Okay, Merry Christmas to everybody and thank you for watching and stay safe and y mucho, mucho amor, like Walter McDowell right. used to say. <laughs> uh, great job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Take care. Thank you for watching.